once everyone's back and healthy, is uh, Nemesnikov your third line center? Yes. No. Oh, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> yes, Angus. Why? Yes. I mean, the guy wins faceoffs, and like, just compared to Adam Lowry, I'll I'll slide Lowry down to the fourth line if I got it. But like, Nemesnikov has proven to me that it's like this guy's here. Just... I I have a very kind of like more ba- well, not more balanced, but just kind of spreading out the offense. And I'd probably have Nemestikov as the second line center, even though it might be more elevated than. Even with wait, Dubois wait, wait, back? So, yeah, yes. I was going to say. So where are you putting Dubi? I'm putting Dubois on the third line or for, just kind of like rotating it. Just like I don't I, I disagree with that. Yeah, I, I thought very, you were going to say, no, he should be on the wing on the third <laughs> line. It's, very, oh, it's no. very kind of like unorthodox and kind of definitely probably wouldn't happen, but it's just kind of spreading out the offense more to three lines than to just have it on two lines because well i i think that's i think having domestikov as your third line center does that because he's better yeah. offensively than lowry is yeah i would like i don't say that like it's gonna happen but it's just like i feel like having a way where you have domestikov getting more time because as we've seen like last game you got three points with this elevated role with uh dubois being out and having lowry injured like He's just shown that whenever he needs to step up, he's there and he's he's going to be effective. So I feel like giving him more ice time isn't going to take away from what he's able to do. What about having him on the wing? Yeah, I could see him on the wing too. Once Dubois is back, having him in the top six on the wing and then like a Lowry, Perfetti, uh, Wheeler Wheeler. third line I would I'd be fine with that too yeah and then just switching to Mestikov and Perfetti depending on how exactly depending on the situation I think I like that more now to be honest I don't mind that and then you got you got two guys who can win face-offs on the second line and Dubois and Mestikov I mean if Mestikov's a right shot too so doesn't that really help the Jets out on certain face-off dots yeah I mean, yeah, like without a doubt, yeah. I don't think like, he's right-handed, but I, I also don't think he's right-handed. But <laughs> if he for is, for some reason, thought he was a right shot. For I just had that locked in my noggin. Uh, no, that would make way too much sense. Yeah, but I mean, it's a unorthodox <laughs> Shevel Day off trade. That holy, who saw this coming? Because well, like both Nino and Nemestikov, are you're just like in love with these guys. They're so right if, in front of the net, if the Jets right go thing. on a bit of a run and Nino is on the top line and Nemesnikov is on the second like Chevy had an unreal trade deadline yeah oh yeah like, yeah he could have made one or two more moves but a fourth rounder for a second line center or a second line winger and a second rounder for a top line winger is just nuts 